Hey, you're watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And today what I want to do for you is cook some seafood. Yeah, specifically halibut cheeks. I'll tell you more about that in just a few minutes. But I've got this subscriber, okay? I call him the benevolent subscriber, the Benny Sub. He really helps my channel out and I really appreciate it. He doesn't have to, but he wants to. And he just sends me stuff for surprise. And lately he's been sending me a lot of seafood and that doesn't bother me because I like seafood, all right? I see food, I eat it. Got a bunch of oysters last November, even this cool hat, all right? And uh, he sends me stuff from um, lots of places. Frozen seafood, of course, because it's coming from places, but sometimes he sends me canned seafood. And he's sent me some more of these San Amaro sardines from Portugal. I love sardines, all right? Yeah, I know, some of you going, eh, they're gross. Yeah, you probably never even tried them. You just, somebody told you they're gross and you believed them. Some of you may have tried them and you might like not like them. Then I respect you. But I like sardines. I even did a sardine sandwich a few years back uh, with these very sardines. Usually there's a piri piri pepper in there and that one didn't happen to have one. But he sent me a few cans of these, some sardines from Spain recently. He sent me some octopus I'm gonna try. Not today, but I'm gonna try it. I got two cans of this. And uh, if I like the first can I'm, and I think it's worthy of doing a video, I'll make another one. But Gregor, I am gonna let you know what I think about this octopus in, in here. Put that on some crackers, it's gonna be good. He sent me some smoked rainbow trout too in a can, all right? And I really wanna thank him. Yesterday I came home, got some stuff from Wild Fork Foods. By the way, I mentioned a different bunch of different brands and whatever, you know, Island Creek, this all, because this is not a sponsored video, all right? Uh, I like all the stuff he sent me. I haven't had this before, but he sent me something from Wild Fork Foods out of Florida. It's uh, medium Florida stone crab claws. All right, they're all fully cooked, uh, but I want to see what I got to do about thawing them and preparing them. And I don't know, can I put them in a butter sauce? What do I do with them? Anyway, I'll figure that out, but they're going back in the freezer. Got three bags of these from Wild Fork Foods yesterday. And last week I got a package from one of my favorite places he sends food from. Emerald Isle Seafood, Emerald Island Seafood, Kodiak, Alaska, you know, and um, man, they got some fantastic rockfish, but their cod, their halibut, everything I've had from them has been good. Uh, Gregor, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure when I see something come from Emerald Isle Seafoods. It says, eating, uh, what's their motto? Eat healthy, eat natural, eat wild, all right? Emerald Isle Seafoods. And we're gonna do some halibut cheeks, all right? Now, these have been described as similar to scallops. Well, they're not similar to scallops because scallops are a mollusk and halibut's a fish, kind of like a big flounder, so it's flat, you know? But um, it has some muscles right in its head bone, right there in the cheek, and uh, you can take that muscle out. And unlike the rest of the fish, which is flaky, this is kind of stringy, so a lot of people like a scallop is, and a lot of people cook them in the same way you cook scallops. So it's got a similar texture, I gotta say that. Not this, I don't think the flavor's the same. But anyway, I'm gonna be cooking these up um, in my Southwest disc. Now maybe you're saying, well, I've never had halibut cheeks before. Well, that's okay, because I'd never had halibut cheeks before the first time I had halibut cheeks, and then when the first time I had halibut cheeks, I liked them, and that was last weekend from Emerald Isle. I cooked those in a cast iron skillet inside. Like I said, I'll be cooking these on the uh, big carbon steel plow disc, the uh, Discada, the cowboy walk from Southwest Disc. I bought the Southwest Disc. Seafood was paid for. This is not a sponsored thing. Let's get to cooking. All right, so I took them out of the bag with my handy dandy bag opener and I put them on this uh, sheet right here. Now, sometimes you'll see a little bit of skin and you wanna pinch that skin off uh, right there. Kind of get that off of there like that. That little bit there is not going to matter a whole lot. And that mat little bit, well, you know what? I do want that off of there. Just pull that off like that. That little thin white skin doesn't matter a whole lot. All right, and then you want to uh, pat these dry. You want to make sure they are dry. What I have them on is one of these um, microwave bacon wraps or racks or something. I, I don't ever use it for bacon in the microwave. I just use it for like drying stuff like this or steaks or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pat them dry with another paper towel. And, uh... Right now that they're dry, it's time to season them. All right, I've washed my hands, got the Uncle Steve's Gator Shake going on. All right, and we're just gonna sprinkle a little, not too much, but just a little bit liberally on both sides. All right, just like that. And you see, I'm just gonna coat both sides the same way. This is a pretty good little seafood seasoning for things like this. It's got red pepper and it's got some lime or some kind of citrus flavor to it. And um, I really like it with fish, I really do. Um, there's other things you could use, whatever kind of fish seasoning you like, but if you got some of this Uncle Steve's Gator Shake, that's a good choice. I probably got too much on that one, but hey, I like them spicy. So anyway, 
that's it. That's all I'm gonna do to prepare them. Let's get them in the Southwest disc. All right, the disc is hot, clean, ready to go. It's getting a good seasoning on it since I got it last summer. And uh, you can use whatever you want. Butter is uh, very popular, but butter can burn. And um, people can use, uh, you know, uh, cooking oil or whatever. Butter does give a good flavor if you don't burn it, but I want these hot to sear. So what I'm using is bacon grease, all right? Just get that bacon grease in there like that. I filter my bacon grease through cheesecloth and I uh, love to use bacon grease for stuff like this. All right, now that this bacon grease is hot and I have smeared it around the perimeter and everywhere, and uh, I wanna smear this here in the center, just around the cooking area, and we're gonna start dropping these in. I'm gonna take this big one and I'm gonna put it right there in the center like that. Put some of the small ones around the edge. Another big one in the center, just like that. That one there too. That's it. Let's sizzle these up. You can use a cast iron skillet as I did last week. I want that one a little closer to the center, so we'll go right there with it. Small one, that one's gonna be spicy. Woo, I'll have to eat that myself. All right, and right here. Now these halibut cheeks are really, really good, y'all. I really enjoy, uh, I really enjoyed eating them last week. Um, they do have a texture like scallops. It's a different flavor. It's more like a flavor like halibut, but a texture like scallops because it's just simply a different muscle than what operates the fish's backbone and spine. All right, it's been a couple minutes. About two, two and a half minutes on each side is good. This one's already getting white, so I know it's time to turn. Just look at that right there. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm gonna put you right down in there like this and get you a little better sear on that side, buddy. All right. Oh, yeah, I wish you could smell it. These things smell delicious. I want that one to come right down here where it's a little hotter. And that one's looking doing well. Flip that one. Flip this one. It kind of broke apart, but each piece will taste good too. All right, and that one got stuck. So I'm just gonna eat that right now. Yep. Yeah, these are gonna be good, guys. Gonna be good. All right, come back and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Well, all right, I've just checked it on some of these like this one. A register in above 130, it already went to 140. And you 130, I checked. Scallops and halibut are done at 130. So these are halibut cheeks with a texture like scallops, not like a muscle. But these that are at 130 are gonna, I'm just gonna slide up to a little cooler section of the disc. And if you don't have one of these discotters, you can do it in a cast iron skillet. You can do it on one of those uh, propane uh, flat top griddle things that people uh, pretend they're cooking in a Japanese steakhouse on. You know, they seem to be real popular nowadays. All right, but this discada does the trick for me, so I like using this Southwest disc. I can also deep fry in it because it's kind of oval shaped and slide things up like this to the, uh, they can stay warm up there without continuing to cook so much as these are in the middle. All right, that one's the last one. It's just about to reach 130. Yeah, it's right there. But I think it's gonna go ahead and carry over cook, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide it to the top. Now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fry up some onion rings and these will stay warm while I fry onion rings in the center of this disc. The only reason I'm doing this is to show you the versatility of the disc. So I'm gonna scrape this off of here real quick. One thing I like about having a disc that doesn't have a lip on it is I'm just, anything I don't want, I can just put right there. All right, this is just corn oil. probably about two thirds of a pint, but that'll be enough to fry up these onion rings. All right, as you can see, we're in the target range. I like 325 to 350. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping some onion rings in here. Well, not like that. Let's fry these up. Onion rings go so well with seafood and fish. Even if it's not fried fish, they still go well with it. Get in the grease. All right, as those fry, I'll move those up there and then we'll fry up some more without using a whole lot of grease in this thing. All right, time to flip these over. Let's flip them over just like that. Each one of them and let them fry up crispy. Then we'll scoot them up and get ready for the next batch. 
You come on up here and you come on down there. All right, while those onion rings fry, let's go ahead and do the taste test right here. Just look at that right there. Steam's still coming off of it, y'all. These are so good, but you see how it's stringy? Kind of like got the um, texture of a scallop. But it doesn't taste like a scallop. It tastes like, it tastes like fish. But anyway, um, it's really good. And at Uncle Steve's Gator Shake, can't get enough of that stuff. All right, what I did was I moved the first batch of onion rings up here. They'll drain right there. And it's time to put in the second batch of onion rings. You saw me do the first one, this will look just like it. All right, got three more onion rings that are finishing up right here. And I'll tell you what, they smell good. Go ahead and pull these um, halibut cheeks off of here. Real nice and tender. You know, I'm gonna get that one with a spatula. So we got to get the spatula out after them. Just like that. I'll pick them up and I'll put them right here in this thing. Don't fall apart. You see how stringy they are? It doesn't mean they're not good. They're really good. But a lot like scallops. So I have to get a little more creative getting these off of here. Come on now. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. I do like my Cajun pit sticks, but probably not the best for the scallops. Uh, excuse me, halibut cheeks. Get all these little pieces. That's a bite we don't want to lose. Get out of there. Get out of there. Don't need to get fried. This isn't fried fish, it's seared fish. That was just about done. All right, now, I can certainly pull the onion rings off with the Cajun pit sticks, just like that. Look, I know this is sort of a longer video than I wanted. If you stuck around this long, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue. Um, check out the links below. Like I said, the only one that's uh, uh, the affiliate link will be the Thermoworks for the um, thermometer. But I'm providing links to Emerald Isle and uh, Southwest Disc for your convenience. Look at that. Just look at our lunch, y'all. It's going to be delicious. Come on out of there. Come on out of there. You can go up there and drain. That one got a little toasty, didn't it? All right, you see the point? That's our lunch. Bon appetit. Yeah.